Priyanka Singh. In this video, we will just have a review about one of the library which is for data cleaning and its name is Semoy. So we'll be introducing that library and we'll see how to use this library because data cleaning is the most crucial part of any data science project. Now let's see how to install it. So open your Anaconda PowerShell prompt and just type your command pip install semoy. So here we are now going to see how to use this library. So you have to first open your notebook that is Python 3 notebook on Jupyter and just write on the basic command like how you used to you know upload your data set on the data frame using pandas so just write import pandas as pd and pd.read underscore csv and then the path of your folder where you have stored your data set so in this project i am basically using a melbourne housing data set so let's see and get into involved how this data set is so it has almost 34,000 plus rows and 21 columns. So here it is the name of columns that are present in this data frame. Now we are finding out the data type of each column. So first function that we are going to test is how this library handles missing value. So right now we are checking the number of null values that are present in each column so first we have to import this library that is import semoy as sm and then you have to call function say drop null basically there are two methods by which you can handle your null values so either you can drop it or you can impute it we got an error because we haven't uh, you know referred this object sm so sm dot drop null. So all the null values across any row or column has been dropped. So basically, they provide two methods that is rc underscore all null or rc underscore any null. So you can use this function like this: drop null, and then your name of data frame name of method that is either rc underscore on null or any null comma one and zero so one represents columns and zero represents rows all null means it will drop the rows or column if its entire value is null any null means it will drop those rows and columns if at least one of the value is null So I'm basically just showing you the syntax how to use this library. Now let's see how to drop missing value as per the threshold. So here threshold should be given in terms of percentage. Let us say if we want to drop the column where the number of null value is greater than or equal to 15% of the total length of that respective column. So we are using percentage as 15. So it will drop all this column. So yes, it has dropped because we are only left with 12 columns but original it has 21 so swap null is to impute your nan values so by default it will impute with the help of mean so you can see price has nan value but now it has been replaced with mean value suppose if you want to impute it with the median value we can do that, that as well you just have to call it explicitly by using this function. So all the NAND values has been replaced with median value. I'm just showing you like NAND value is there in price column and now it has been replaced with median. They also provide you a method of customization. For example, if you want to replace your NAN values in numerical column with minus triple nine and uh, categorical column with not known. So you can do, do that as well. So 
so all the nan values in numerical column has been replaced with minus triple nine and all the nan values in categorical column has been replaced with not nan now how can we prove that so let's use res dot is null dot sum to check if there is any null value that is remained so no there is not a single null value that is remain unreplaced so you can also you know impute your null values in the specific column so you just have to use function swap null underscore subset under the parameters you have to mention your data frame and the column name where you want to replace your null values by default it will also replace with the help of mean so here we have only replace nan values in price as well as building area column you can see that let's see if you want to replace subset for example specific column null values with the median so i'm just showing you the method like how to call this function basic syntaxes for more detail, you can follow them on PYPy and you can see how to use this function. Let's see a very interesting function of this library, swap missing underscore LRU, that is all the null or missing value will be replaced with least recently used value. So yes, it's very interesting function. For more detail, you can type help common name of help under the parenthesis name of a function and you can get the details now let's see how they are handling duplicates so they provide two method drop replicates and drop replicate columns where they are also handling the typographical error seems interesting isn't it so this is a syntax how you should call this function You can also drop duplicates in the specific column as I have shown. Basically drop replicate columns if by, you know, by mistake, if there is two columns with the same name, then only one column will be there. They also provide a method called alter case. Let us see if the user wants, you know, to convert all its text into lowercase or say uppercase. So we have used uppercase and all the text in every column has been converted into uppercase. Similarly, if alter case along with subset is used, you can, you know, explicitly mention the column names and then the method. Say I'm using a suburb and address, I'll be converting those text values into uppercase so only the columns suburb and address have been converted into uppercase and the rest all the columns are in same case as original I hope you liked my video so thank you for watching and please like comment and subscribe to our channel for runners and guys please stay tuned